you know, that both sides, they're just getting warmed up. That's true. I think that's a good point. And, well, do you wonder then, if, are they committed to the 15-minute quarter for the rest of the season? Because that then, doesn't that essentially mean then that not every game has been equal, if you know what I mean? Yes, yes. And, um, with Essendon, did you know um, what Essendon had to do to get to their game in Sydney? No. Oh, this would well, be good. They had to wake up at 5.30 and they got the plane with North Melbourne. Wow. Then they had to, then they had to wait three hours in a hotel before they got to go to their game. Jeez. Okay. So they did quite well to win their game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. Well, see, I'm, I'm just looking at all the results now. Look, uh, what you get, obviously, with 15-minute quarters is low-scoring games, except for, well, let's say, how many clubs got over 100 points uh, for the round? Only two did. That was Port Adelaide and Geelong. Um, and, you know, you've got scores like the Melbourne game. That was 53 plays 54. Very the bad kicking by Carlton, so that's 18 scoring shots to 14 by the losing side. Um, yeah, it's I don't know. I I didn't see the game. I was only listening to it, so I'm yet to see one of these truncated games. Oh, actually, no, except for round one, which was just bizarre watching without a crowd. I still think that's very strange, and I'm probably not alone there. But yeah, look. Well, I think, Alan, we've just got to understand it's a season like no other, and uh, this is the sacrifice we make as fans. Yes, and how's your, your dog going? Is it um, still still defecating in the house or how? No, no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't done that. He's all grown up now, so he's. Um, He's able to convey that need, and and he's not doing it overnight, which is oh, very that's handy. great. Yes, so I'm happy with that. I think we all are because nobody wants to wake up and see that. Let's be I honest. I think it's um, is the, the the dog the um owner of the house? No, he's but he's certainly a, a much loved member of the house. I'll say that. Oh, they are. Yeah, and um. He's look. He's just absolutely beautiful. He's you know, we're very we're blessed with that dog. Um, you, I mean, you can be you can be blessed with a dog or cursed with a dog. We we are definitely blessed. So yeah, well, thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll give him um, a cuddle for you. Oh, just quickly. Yeah. We had a black Labrador when I was young. Yeah. And if you'd open the back door, it'd make a beeline to the front door. Well, my mother had six big glass windows in the front lounge oh, room. Oh, no. And twice it did it. He comes running through, straight through the window. Broke the Smashed, window? Yep, smashes it. You know, the window's gone, and, and he's off down the street. And not one scratch on him. That is some... That's almost impressive. It's, I, know it's, I know it's expensive, uh, but it's it's expensive. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate that. We're going to take a break now because it's uh, 27 minutes to two. Back in a moment, 13, 13, 32, 96900, 693. A Spotlight or Windows, what you make it with 30 to 40% off the entire range of made to measure curtains, blinds, and shutters. Call 1300 662 for your free in home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it, and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. A Spotlight, it's what you make it. Of hundreds of enter financial year offers, only ours has a BMW. Enjoy savings equal to the GST across the BMW range. Book an appointment with your participating dealer today. But hurry, appointments are limited. T's and C's and exclusions apply. This station endorses the Commercial Radio Code of Practice, which has been registered by the Australian Communications and Media Authority. Content on this station is regulated by the code. The code covers areas such as material not suitable for broadcast, news and current affairs, Australian music, live hosted entertainment and the promotion of gambling during live sports. You can obtain a copy of the code by contacting this station or from the Commercial Radio Australia website 
commercialradio.com.au. My grandparents are buried at Melbourne Cemetery, as are my parents, and my late husband George is at Faulkner. And all of their headstones were by the wonderful people at Cameo Memorials. Cameo have provided expert, professional and genuinely friendly service for over 130 years. My memory's safe with Cameo too. Mind you, I'm not ready to go just yet. I've still got far too many new memories to create. Let Cameo Memorials set your memory in stone throughout Victoria. Cameomemorials.com.au Nothing compares to the pristine landscapes and unique wildlife of Antarctica. And you can experience it in truly all-inclusive ultra-luxury on Scenic Eclipse, the world's first discovery yacht. 3 AW Breakfast is giving you the chance to win a 19-night luxury voyage for two adults to Antarctica, South Georgia and the Falkland Islands, valued at $68,000. Your chance to win starts this coming Monday, so stay listening to Breakfast and visit Scenic it doesn't make a sound. You can't see it or smell it. But while your gas heater is running, carbon monoxide could be spilling into your home and it can kill. Is your heater safe? Be sure. Have your gas heater serviced by a qualified gas fitter. To learn more, visit esv.vic.gov.au. Authorised by the Victorian Government, Melbourne. When muscular pain gets in the way of your day, you need fast relief. Deep Heat has been helping support Australians for over 60 years with a range of pain relief solutions Aussies trust. Try the Deep Heat back patches that activate in just 60 seconds and get back in the game. Follow directions for use. A spotlight or windows what you make it with 30 to 40% off the entire range of made-to-measure curtain blinds and shutters. Call 1300 for your free in-home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it and keep it cool for less. Conditions are at Spotlight, it's what you make it. You're listening to Australia Overnight on 3AW693. 13, 13, 32, 9, 6, 9, 100, 6, 9, 3. It's uh, 24 minutes to 2. Angie is in Mount Martha. Hi, Angie. Got mm. you there, Angie? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, it can now. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I'm back to yeah. say fantastic on the government looking after women's health this week. Wonderful. We are going to be jumping up and down on the couch, swinging yeah. off the chandeliers and grabbing yeah. that bottle of wine out of the fridge, putting our feet up because the buggers are back at men's shed. They're gone. Which, the blokes are going back to the men's shed. Good. And we're going to have an absolute ball doing nothing. I can tell you the men are as well, just and, quietly. And Bianca, that song that she played for you recently, you know, the... Uh, yeah, uh, happy to be stuck with you. Uh, right. Can you just imagine if you ended up on morning radio, what she would have actually played? It would have been the angels. Am I ever going to see your face again? No Don't way. Say Go away. Else. Go away. Get lost. <laughs> That's what she would have played. Well, Don't we, you think? Our, well, our paths would have crossed. Yeah. Um, I well, look. You know what? I, I it, had it happened, I would have uh, graciously taken her with me as my executive assistant, and I would have, you know, she would have worn a, you know, a nice uh, skirt, and there would have been heels and all that sort of thing. You know and, what she's doing at you at the moment, don't you? She's just going, yeah, right. <laughs> And what would I wear, Tony? No, no, that's what you, that's what you oh, would you wear. You look beautiful in a suit. No, there'd be a little, oh, look, there'd be a I mean, little I can't say that, can I? But you do. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not know, demeaning you. I mean, you do, I would, you look good in you know, a suit. No, I, I would have set up, I would have set myself up as a, a shelf company set in the Seychelles and uh, would have been, you know, Tony Moakley Industries Proprietary Limited. And, and You'd you have to shave your legs. Like, no, no, I don't. No, I've. Again, again. Did you hear that, Bianca? Yeah, you waxed them last time. Oh gosh, that would have taken months. No, I. He was very brave. You know, he's very brave and heroic, aren't you, Tony? I reckon we wax his legs on air. We do that. No, one there's time, no. Just to hear right. it. He can't cope. This is this will send him over honestly, the edge. Honestly, I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wind this up now. I think we should, I think we should it on Tony. Some, some music. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Oh, God help us. 
That was a pylon by... I mean, you know... It was a... <laughs> there needs to be more respect for me in my position no, as captain we, of this show. No, we respect you a lot. Yeah, I can hear a that. Lot. It comes through loud and clear. Now, No matter what you're wearing, Tony. Thank I you. I mean, it doesn't matter. We just take you for who you are as a person. Oh, that's so non-judgmental and yep. inclusive. Yep. I really appreciate that. Yeah. We don't care if you're wearing your, you know, your nightgown, or I your robe. I don't wear a nightgown. And I don't. Your, you know, don't you have a, a smoking, like a, what, like a bathrobe and your pipe I used to. and a bevy of beauties around you? Isn't that what oh, you're wearing be, now? Well, that... I'm not saying what you're wearing underneath. It doesn't matter what you're wearing underneath, but, you know, that's what you, you like to get around in. It's a lot more kind of pedestrian than that. It's jeans and a jumper. That's what you're uh, saying to me. That's true. That's not what yeah. I've heard. No, well, thankfully you can't hear the water bubbling away in the jacuzzi that I'm currently in with. Uh, with Candy, Lexus. Um, <laughs> anyway, can we just play a bit of music, please? Mike Rudd was born in Christchurch on this day. Lead singer, guitarist with the Australian 70s band Spectrum. I used to work for a company called Spectrum uh, 32 years ago. They, were, they did market research. I've told you that story about uh, having to uh, follow up on rolls of toilet paper that had been sent out to people, and I had to write down their responses about what they said about it. That was uh, one of the... Um, more glamorous jobs I've had. Anyway, that was a long time ago. Uh, this song, you'll know it. It's called I'll Be Gone. Happy birthday, Mike Rudd. Ah.
Rudd, thank you. Thank you for that song. God, that's delightful. Can you name a song that can match that with harmonica playing? There's a handy list to get going. Just absolute stomping, just rip-snorting songs with uh, the, uh, the mouth harp. Oh, let's have that list going, please. It is a quarter to two, the phone number 13 13 32. Tom Elliott. Christine, hello. Hi, Tom. I am actually black, um, born in Africa. Three till six weekdays. The things like all these programs, do they upset you? Do you think they should be pulled from our screens? No. Drive. But with all these shows being cancelled, which is really irritating me, mm. I grew up watching, you know, Gone with the Wind. I'm devastated that I can't watch it anymore. I've got a DVD of it, thank heavens. But it doesn't annoy me. On 3AW693. Holidays, holidays, holidays. Right now, Avan Supercentre has a huge range of new and used campers, caravans and motorhomes in stock. So you can get away on your holiday ahead of the pack. This month, they're doing super deals across the entire new range. So make sure you order today to have it ready to go before Christmas. Don't miss out. Go in and have a look or go online. Avan Supercentre, two huge locations, Pakenham and Campbellfield or avansupercentre.com.au. This Sunday, eight United Victorian charities have joined forces to compete towards rocking around the world to raise awareness, funds and 50 million steps to virtually lap our world. Everyone can join in. You can step, walk or run. You can dance, wriggle or move or roll in a wheelchair, cycle or skate. It's not too late to join or donate. Visit rockaroundtheworld.org.au and join us for our live stream this Sunday. That's rockaroundtheworld.org.au Values. We all hold them, care about them. Some drive us, some inspire us, and they can say a lot about us. At Lapine Funerals, we understand them and care about them too. Because every day we're privileged to help families treasure them, honour them, and remember them in those they love. Lapine Funerals. Celebrating the values you treasure most. Visit lapinefunerals.com.au If you're the subject of a dismissal, you're often entitled to a generous tax-free redundancy payment. Unfair employers avoid paying redundancy by artificial performance management, followed by unfair dismissal. Others force employees to unsuitable new roles. The employment lawyers McDonald Merhome can help. They've been defending the rights of employees for over 20 years, so take some advice. 9650-4555. McDonald Merhome, your essential lawyers. 9650-4555. A spotlight of windows when you make it with 30 to 40% off the entire range of made to measure curtains, blinds and shutters. Call 1-300-662-742 for your free in-home measure and quote. So warm it, shade it and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. Of hundreds of end of financial year offers, only ours has a BMW. Enjoy savings equal to the GST across the BMW range. Book an appointment with your participating dealer today. But hurry, appointments are limited. T's and C's and exclusions apply. You're listening to Australia Overnight on 3AW693. It is 11 minutes to 2. Whiff is in Marlow. Hi, Whiff. Hey, go, mate. How are you? There's the weather going now. Now I'm tipping something like for a harmonica deliverance. Deliverance? Uh, Hang on, wasn't that banjos? It was banjos. I'm out on that one. But yeah. I'd like to make a comment or something on football, mate, pies, kangaroos or holding cars. Yeah, what's your comment? Football. Um, good that the footy back looking better with some crowds. And the way they're setting it up is good too, where they've got a bit more colour going. I'm enjoying that. A bit of fake crowd is good too. What's the, I watched a bit of the Adelaide uh, showdown. Um, yep. Did, it looked like people in the crowds who were socially distancing. Did I get that wrong? No, you did not. So and what the, is uh, are the rules different in Adelaide? Have I missed something? Yes, you have. Okay. But over there because they've got zero for two months or something. COVID yeah, maybe. okay. Yeah, so the showdown was safe. 
Yeah, OK. Well, it was, it was good to see people and, at the footy. Uh, well, yeah, and Port Adelaide had their traditional magpie jumper. I loved that jumper. I thought that was terrific to see. What a good play. Yeah. Uh, mm. I really like that. Magpies. Well, they're the original magpies, aren't they? Aren't they? Uh, are they older than Collingwood or not? Gee, oh, there's a po- so. mm, Okay. Okay. Ooh, I have to look uh, that one up. Yeah, we looked that one up. That's a good thing to look up. What about... Mm. I was going to ring up last week about... Um, that I can't figure out. Turds about Maori Wars. Yeah, what about them? Do, do they exist? Do you know what, what was going on there? Well, do you mean the Maori resistance to the British? To the British, right. I just know that there were ships coming out of Hobart to battleships, but it wasn't Australia versus New Zealand, it was British, yeah? No, that would have been British, and then the British concluded a peace treaty with, uh, with the Maoris because they had a king to negotiate with, unlike um, in Australia. There was no Aboriginal king with whom to negotiate a peace treaty. That's my understanding of it. Got an email here. Uh, Hi, Bianca and Tony. This is a view we have from our local pub, Lakeview Bar and Bistro in Locksport, Gippsland. It's hard to take. Love, Helen. Thank you, Helen. Oh, that is... You know, on a nice, mild day, to sit there with some friends and have great conversation and the odd bevy... That would be a rare delight. Mm. What do you reckon, Bianca? You've seen that. Oh, so it's a beautiful um, view of the. Is it, what would that be? The, well, the lake. Be? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'm, it's a lake view bar. Lake so view, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'd love to sit there on a yeah, sunny day, nice. look out on the Can, lake. Yeah, you might even see the roulettes flying past. I mean, you can only hope, can't you? If you're in Gippsland near Sale. Um, thank you for that, Helen. Jenny is in Northbourne. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Tony. Um, Tony, another song uh, with um, harmonica. Uh, yeah. The piano man, Billy Joel. You're right. Yeah. Now is he and is he playing and is he playing two instruments as, at once as he does that? I couldn't tell you, um, Tony, but I know my son used to. My son um, was, uh, he, he taught himself to play the harmonica when he was um, oh, 15, 16, and uh, he used to play the piano. He used to play John Williamson's True Blue and all those songs, oh, playing yeah. the piano and the harmonica together, and he's gone on um, writes music and stuff and uh, still plays the uh, harmonica with guitar and so forth, or drums. Um, These men can't multitask. He, yeah, he certainly can. But, but when he was teaching himself the harmonica, um, I actually contacted Mike Rudd and, um, to find out the cost of a few lessons because my son was having trouble bending notes. That's a, a technique in playing oh, harmonica. Oh, okay. And um, uh, Mike Rudd talked to me, and I couldn't afford the lessons, but he, Mike Rudd, helped my son via the phone. And a champion. Um, yeah, totally, totally. And my son got the technique, you know, through his own practice and everything with um, the helpful hints from Mike Rudd. So that would have been about 17 years ago. Yeah. Oh, and can he bend or whatever the term is? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He can. Oh, yes. My, my son, you know, worked at it. And, and yeah. at times it sounded like a sick moo cow, but, you know, in the <laughs> early days. <laughs> but but he, he got it. And the first time he he could bend the notes, you know, what, whatever it was, the technique. Um, oh, it was like Christmas. You know, he was. Oh. So, he said, did you hear that, mum? Did you hear that? And I certainly heard it because it wasn't the sick moo cow. <laughs> Good on you, yeah. Mike Rudd. And what's his son's name, Jenny? James. My son's name's James. Well, he's yeah. a determined. He was a determined young man. That's a great thing, and it's a, it's a real credit to you. Thank you for that, Jenny. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Good night. Good on you. Um, and yay, Mr. Rudd. 
pay that. Five minutes to two, 13, 13, 32. Back in a moment. Here's an important announcement from Budget. During this crisis, we're still providing our essential services to Melbourne's community. If you're a courier or delivery company and you need a truck to service your customers, think Budget. We've a huge range of trucks and many can be driven on an ordinary licence. Needless to say, all trucks are carefully cleaned after each hire. So head to budgettrucks.com.au or phone any budget outlet. Stan, Stan. Yes, love. Look at this ad for Village Glen. I know you've always wanted to retire there. Not sure we can afford it, love. Well, we can now. One bedroom apartments at 199,900 and one bedroom villas at just 299,900. Sounds too good to be true on the beautiful Mornington Peninsula. There's a wide choice, but limited time. What do you think? I'm already on the website villageglen.com.au. Visit villageglen.com.au for details and T's and C's. Hello. Until Sunday only, National Tiles Spend and Save promotion is across our entire range of European wall and floor tiles. That's right, until Sunday only, when you spend $1,000 on any National Tiles European wall and floor tiles, you'll only pay $750. Or when you spend $2,000, you'll only pay $1,450. Rush into National Tiles now and save, or go online to nationaltiles.com.au. At UE, we're all about how you use or don't use your car. So if you're using your car less due to the COVID-19 crisis, we'll give you three months temporary relief on your car insurance premiums from the date you notify us you're using your car less. UE clients go to the UE website, follow the prompts and your saving will be applied. Shopping around for car insurance? The same relief applies to you. UE. You insured. Product issued by UE PTY Limited. Consult UE's car PDS at UE.com.au when deciding if this product is appropriate for you. See the UE website for details about the temporary relief. Some kids want to be teachers or scientists, firefighters or athletes. But then there are kids like Abby who believe all they'll ever be is poor. For them, a different future is hard to imagine. Australian children living in poverty need our help. Donate to the Smith family and provide access to out-of-school learning programs and mentoring to help them get the most out of school. You can help show them their lives can be different. Search the Smith family and donate to... The windows, what do you make it? With 30 to 40% off the entire range of made-to-measure curtain blinds and shutters. Call 1300 662 for your free in-home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. It's on the end of financial year sale at Nick Theodosi Prestige Cars. No genuine offer will be refused, so make them an offer today. T's and C's apply end June 30. Everybody should own a Prestige car at least once in a lifetime, Ellen. CTA three five zero. You're listening to Australia Overnight on three AW six nine three. Hello, Craig in Bo Morris. Yeah, hello, Tony. Um, uh, Matt Taylor, as far as the harmonica, harmonica goes, uh, I remember when I was young. Oh, hang on. The, by the animals? No. No, Matt Taylor. And there's a song called I Remember When I Was Young. Oh, yes, yes. I remember when I was young. Um, was that, the does that mention the Golden Rule? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that's your pick as number one harmonica song. Yes, indeed, indubitably. All right. Um, well, you've rolled out the word indubitably. <laughs> I, I cannot argue with that. Thank you. Can you mention the cartoon that that word used to be mentioned in all the time? Um, yeah, the Simpsons. <laughs> no, I don't think it was. I, I, I associated it with another cartoon. Craig, thank you for that. We'll see if we can dig that out. Cheers, mate. Great song. It's 2 a.m. Here comes the news. The latest news. When you're ready to sell your home, call Ian Reid Vendor Advocates first. Independent expert advice at no additional cost. Melbourne's 3AW 693.
Good morning, I'm Ben Kimber. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews is under immense pressure to sack a Labor MP at the centre of bombshell corruption allegations. Small Business Minister Adam Somirak has been accused of large-scale branch stacking. A year-long joint investigation by 60 Minutes and The Age newspaper has obtained secret recordings. The material appears to show Mr Somirak involved in secret cash drop-offs, ordering others to forge signatures and make false statements. Try not to get some money to the payments, but no one. All they know is money appears in the sort of taken if they go bad on us. He also uses foul and derogatory language when referring to colleagues, including the Minister for Prevention of Family Violence, Gabrielle Williams. Mr Somiak has denied the allegations levelled against him. But the state leader of the opposition has slammed the Andrews Labor government as corrupt to the core. Michael O'Brien says the scandal is a shocking failure of judgment by Daniel Andrews. He says the revelations indicate the law has been broken and the ministers at the centre of the allegations must be stood down. He has called for the Anti-Corruption Commission IBAC and Victoria Police to investigate. Victoria has been lashed by high winds as a warm front swept across Bass Strait in the south of the state. Senior forecaster at the Weather Bureau, Richard Russell, says the biggest gusts were felt in elevated areas, including Alpine Peaks. We did see some quite strong wind gusts. In fact, the strongest we've recorded was at Wilson's Promontory uh, late on Sunday night with 120 kilometre an hour wind gusts uh, recorded there. Following that, wind gusts of around about 90 kilometres an hour up at Mount Buller and also Mount William. A severe weather the warning for damaging winds remains in place for parts of Gippsland. An Australian man on death row in China has the next 10 days to initiate an appeal. Victorian-born stage and screen actor Calm Gillespie has been detained since 2013 after he was caught trying to smuggle drugs out of the country. A local Chinese court has delivered its verdict amid suggestions it's linked to ongoing tensions between both countries. The Australian government is providing Mr Gillespie with consular assistance. Blood cancers are the third leading cause of cancer death in Australia and 41 patients are diagnosed every day. We're being encouraged to roll up our sleeves and help those fighting the disease this National Blood Donor Day. The Leukaemia Foundation's Catherine Huntley says donations are critical to a patient's treatment. We need 29,000 blood donations every week and around 10,000 of them are needed for cancer treatment. So now's not the time for people to be complacent and what we'd like to encourage people to do is become regular givers to continue that commitment to the survival of people with blood cancer. Overseas China has reported its highest daily total of new coronavirus cases in two months. 57 new cases have been linked to a wholesale food market and its surrounding residential compounds. In India, one of Bollywood's best-known actors has been found dead inside his apartment. The BBC Shahawa Shanani reports. Bollywood's top stars and politicians have been tweeting their shock and surprise at the death of Sushant Singh Rajput, the 34-year-old star of films such as Kaipo Che and MS Dhoni, The Untold Story, the biography of India's World Cup winning cricket captain. Reports say the actor was suffering from depression. A few days ago, his former manager was also found dead in her home. The Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, said a bright young actor had gone too soon. And if you or anyone you know needs someone to talk to, call Lifeline on 13 11 14. 3AW Sports. Listen on air, online and mobile. St Kilda has pulled off a comfortable 39-point win over the Western Bulldogs at Marvel Stadium. Greater Western Sydney has suffered an upset loss to North Melbourne. Giants coach Leon Cameron says they were simply outplayed. We just did not roll our sleeves up and, and get down and get dirty for long enough, um, and clearly they did. And in the re remaining match to round out round two of the returned AFL season, the Swans went down to Essendon 11-13-79 to 11-7-73. That's the latest in news and sport. 3AW Weather. Cloudy, a possible shower today, a top of 18 after a low of 12. Showers increasing tomorrow, 17. Partly cloudy Wednesday, 14. Mostly sunny by Thursday, up to 17 degrees. On the bays, northwesterly winds are 15 to 20 knots, waves to 1.5 metres. It's currently 14 degrees in the city. Ben Kimber, Melbourne Zone, 3AW. This is Australia Overnight with Tony Moclair.
13, 13, 32, 96, 900, 693. What's in the boxes along this hour? And uh, there's quite a remarkable uh, prize up for grabs. Let me tell you that. Beck is in Laverton. Hello, Beck. Oh, is that me? Well, I hope it is. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Sorry. It's um, all right. Just about the harmonica. Um, yeah. Is it's is the song called Thunder Road by Springsteen? Oh yeah, yeah. He uh, he's got quite a few songs with the harmonica in it. Yeah, and another one's um, "Love Me Do" by the Beatles. Oh, I love that. That's great harmonica playing. Awesome, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a ripper. Um, yeah. The Bruce Springsteen song. What is it? Um, I think I was thinking "Thunderstruck." That's ACDC. It is. Oh, that's a hell of a song. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. harmonica in there. What's the one where it's uh, no wedding day smiles, no walk down the aisles, no bro, no wedding day. Um, oh, the Bruce Springsteen song. Yeah. That's got a harmonica in it. I, I was half asleep when I rang. Oh, that's all right. I remember but the you, name, but now, now I've forgotten it. So. Um, that's all right. But Love Me Do, will, um, I, I'm going to put that on the short list of songs. But I think that's a beautiful song. It's a, it's, it is, isn't it? It's one of the yeah. early ones, too, which I love. Yeah. 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 No, love that. Great suggestion. Thank you for that, Beck. No worries. See you, Tony. Bye. Appreciate it. Um, Michael is in Werribee. Hi, Michael. I was going to say that, too. That's a great song. Love, love Me, me do. do. It's a ripper. Yeah. yeah the opening's really good, yeah. I'm really upset, yeah. Tony. What's that? I'm really upset. I'm really Why upset. Why is that? Guido's not got to be put off, is he? Like, uh, everybody, everybody gets put off, you know? Like, because oh, of this, it's uh, a matter of time. It's a matter of oh, time no, before, no. Uh, you know, the no, no. I'm, I'm, young mob with sticks come after him. No, no, no. I'll, get the, I'll be out there with the, the flag, you know? What do you call it? The poster. <laughs> right. No, no, I'll be there. I'll be first. Well, I'll be there for you, Tony. Oh, good man, Michael. No, they'll um, they'll they'll call it cultural appropriation because, oh, uh, or a, a cultural stereotype. Where's, uh, it, where's it going, Tony? Where's it going? Hey. Well, that's the frightening thing. We don't know. Um, we've just got to push back against it. Yeah. Look, I, I'm all for like um, pro equality. Like I'm very, yeah. like, you know, not to offend. I know at work I had a few issues with people looking down on other people for cultures. You know, I used to stand up for yeah. other people. Yeah, you know, I'm good. Not going to back off. I used to stand up for them and say, "Look, just you know, tell them where to go, type of thing." Yeah. But it, there's a line like you got to be, um, you can't. What's the word? You got to respect the past, and you got to realise like maybe some of the statues they were violent in the past. Maybe have a, uh, the government might come out with a, um, a plaque or something. You know, just explain some of these, like the ones that have done like really bad stuff. Yeah, there might be just a few. Yeah. Yeah, just for out of respect for the Aboriginals or something, just something about yeah. like what they're doing to every like all the, all the statues is bad because if you take away the history, you know, every you know like we learn from our mistakes too. So it, that's such a great point, and uh, you can't have a conversation about where we've come from if you've removed anything that reminds us of that journey. And um, that's why statues like that are so important, so that you can begin a conversation and say, look, how we, we do have that in our past, the treatment of the Indigenous people in this country. We, we keep these statues to remind us that we must never do that again. Exactly. I've been listening to like Russell Brand. You know Russell Brand? He yeah, used to be uh, the actor. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. And, and comedian, like, yeah. He's and a comedian. He's, thought, he's like talking about like a revolution and he's way right out there, you know. I'm saying, like, yeah. um, that type of thinking, it, it can be very dangerous in a way. It's going to get people fired up. I'm yeah, like, well, uh, that's all... Uh... That's all posturing and, and makes him very now, but um, they're not going to be... There won't be riders coming for him and his $10 million house. He can afford security to stop them. Sure, um, yes, yes. But it's all well and good to have security. I mean, you looked at the neighbourhoods that they attacked in the United States. They were A lot of them were poor black neighbourhoods. Now, they've got no infrastructure. I mean, it's... it's one thing to call for these riots, but uh, but you do so from the safety of wealth and privilege that he has amassed. It's um, it's very true, hollow. True. Yeah, true. And all Thank you for that, Michael. Anyway. Good on you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Um, Russell is in Melton. Hi, Russell. 
Uh, oh yeah, so you know the tea. I like that song by um, that my uh, my Spectrum. Yeah, yeah it's a ripper, uh, isn't it? Yeah, I've got some others. Uh, they were also known as the uh, Indelible Mertzeps, that group. The what? The Indelible Mertzeps. That Spectrum spelt backwards. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, I've got an album by them and and. Um, I know a couple other songs with the harmonica, like On the Road Again by Canned Heat. Oh, yeah? And um, somebody mentioned Matt Taylor. He was in Chain. Yes. Now, I've just had a look at that song um, at a 3XY concert from 1982, and I couldn't see any harmonica playing. Did I get the wrong version? Um, Yeah, with, um, with that song he... Yeah, I don't know if that's got harmonica in it or not, but yeah, I know Kane sure has harmonica. But okay, they did change it to a song called Judgment. That had harmonica, I believe. Okay, I, I know they had some other probably had some other songs with harmonica too, but I can't think of the name of them. But yeah, any others to the list, Russell? No, no. Uh, um, I can't think of any others. I know that. That's um, all right. Well, here's Bob what Dillon's we're going to do. Had a few. <laughs> oh, who's that? Sorry, Russell? Oh, Bob Dylan, I think, had a few. Oh, didn't God. He? He's a few hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you could say. Russell, what we're going to do is we're going to test Craig from Bo Morris's claim that there's some great uh, mouth harp playing or harmonica playing in this song by Matt Taylor and Chain. Uh, it's called I Re- I remember when I was young, you be the judge. Thank you, Russell. Yeah, okay. Back in a moment after we hear this song and then we'll roll out What's in the Box. Well, I remember when I was young, the world had just begun and I was happy. I used to wonder about the earth and how it moved around the sun so snappy. about it it happens every day I should think of the present cause the present's now well I remember when I was young how one is trip and got you to the movies to look up we light a smoke and very nearly choke but we had a real good time
Chiefs. Yeah, that was a close run thing. Bianca and I were talking off here going, there's no harmonica in this. We ran the harmonica detector over it and the needle didn't move. And then, lo and behold, what do you know? So nice work. Craig in Bo Morris. That is uh, Matt Taylor there, a.k.a. Chain. Am I thinking? Somebody can clarify clarify uh, that for us. But I remember when I was young. It is uh, 16 minutes past two. Back in a moment, I'm going to be chatting to Chris in Langwarren, and then you'll hear the mighty intro that signals the arrival of what's in the box. That's ahead on Australia Overnight. 3AW Breakfast. That's true. I would have spent more in the last two weeks than I did in the previous two months. Weekday mornings from 5.30. For all the freedoms that we've been given, I don't know that I've invoked many of them. Oh, I've been to restaurants. You have? Oh, yeah. Oh, you shocked me. With Ross and John. They went out of the blocks. I was quick about Andrew. Then Andrew. Andrew. Then Usain Bolt. Andrew Bolt. <laughs> Welcome to our new Talkback what Topic. A what a difference a first name makes. <laughs> a spotlight, a window is what you make it. With 30 to 40% off the entire range of made-to-measure curtain, blinds and shutters. Call 1300 for your free in-home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. A spotlight, it's what you make it. Med- Mediterranean Wholesalers is a very special place. In fact, it's probably like no place you've ever been to before, except for maybe Italy. So if you're cooking up a storm, you'll find everything you need at Mediterranean Wholesalers. You'll find Australia's largest variety of imported pasta, regional Italian cheeses, balsamic vinegars, and the famous Sicilian Barbera unfiltered extra virgin olive oil. So don't pay boutique prices south of the Yarra. Visit Australia's largest continental food store, Mediterranean Wholesalers, 482 Sydney Road, Brunswick. For top quality motoring at great value pricing, check out Havel SUVs and Great Wall Utes at your new home in Melbourne, Astoria in Bentley East. It's A-plus for Astoria, and we're getting on with business. Plus, don't miss your big tax savings available. Get $2,000 minimum trade-in till June 30th. Plus, get your Havel or Great Wall serviced with 20% discount on scheduled services. Your home for Havel and Great Wall in Melbourne, Astoria, North Road, Bentley East, LMCT 10901. Reimagine what aged care could be like. At Regis, our highly trained caring staff can help you love the life you live. We use innovative programs and proven systems to care for our residents and support their choices so they feel secure and comfortable, can stay connected with loved ones and can be confident about their care. With 18 homes across Victoria, find out how Regis can help you live your life on your terms. Call us on 1300-998-100 or visit regis.com.au. Nothing compares to the pristine landscapes and unique wildlife of Antarctica and you can experience it in truly all-inclusive ultra luxury on Scenic Eclipse, the world's first discovery yacht. 3AW Breakfast is giving you the chance to win a 19-night luxury voyage for two adults to Antarctica, South Georgia and the Falkland Islands, valued at $68,000. Your chance to win starts this coming Monday, so stay listening to breakfast and visit scenic.com.au slash 3AW. At Spotlight, a window is what you make it with 30 to 40% off the entire range of made-to-measure curtains, blinds and shutters. Call 1300 662 for your free in-home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. You're listening to Australia Overnight on 3AW 693. What's in the box in a moment? Uh, but right now, Chris is in Langwarren. Hi, Chris. Good morning, Anthony. How are you going? Well, very well. How are you going? Uh, still awake. <laughs> Good. Mate, um, just a quick one for starters. Can't miss that scene from the Blue Blues Brothers, but I don't know whether he was playing it or not. Dan Aykroyd with the harmonica. I think it went on the stage there towards the end. He probably could play it. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he could. Uh. And a more serious note, you, uh, you tweaked about the ALP DLP split. Well, I'm in my 70s now. Yeah. Um, and my father actually stood for the, I mean, for MLA. Um, and it was purely um, to split the Catholic vote. Uh, left because Labor was traditionally uh, Catholic uh, orientated. Yeah. Uh, and to the extent um, that Hart destroyed his business. Wow. Um, 
he got knocked down. <laughs> he got knocked down outside Mass one Sunday morning. It was silly enough to get up again. They got knocked over again. It was how serious they took it. And we had this great big bloody Irishman. Oh, he was always seemed to hang around the house. He was a copper. And um, I can remember there'd be five of us little kids with them hanging up arms and legs, you know. Partners <laughs> round the lounge room mucking about it. It was just the Maloney, you know, just the good mother dads. Yeah. What the good mother dads was, it was his bloody bodyguard was that serious. Really? Oh, mate, you got no idea what their nasty was. And I, I, look, I found that, yeah, some years later, because as a kid, you didn't even sort of worry about those things. You just yeah. went loose and handed out how the vote cards. Um, yeah, but he had um, he a big heavy Mr. Maloney with him when he went out political meetings and so forth. Yeah, yeah it was... Uh, so what, 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 I mean, you said it was it was sectarian, or it was you know Catholic and splitting the Catholic vote. What was really at issue? Was it was it communism? Was it um, what? Yeah, well, what were the two sides arguing about? Well, I, I remember the young man saying that um, uh, the communists had control of the wards. Yep, and. That's about, well. That was one of the reasons they were blowing. They were trying to stop the communist takeover. I, well, you weren't here. You wouldn't remember. But you would have read. Uh, Menzies tried to have the outlaw. Uh, have yes. the communist party outlawed. Yeah. He tried to have the communist party outlawed. That was a referendum, wasn't it? Uh, and it failed. It failed. Now, yep. Well, you look. You may be right. There goes uh, my my seventy year plus brain party again. Um, yeah, but my those days were really, really nasty at times. Shocking. Oh, uh, well, um, I mean, you, you don't kind of assume that, do you? But, uh, God, that just sounds... Uh, that sounds like Northern Ireland, almost, that kind of oh. carry-on. Hey, for, for two, three years, we lived about six, eight blocks from our Catholic primary school. Yeah. And we just run the gauntlet against the uh, proddy dogs. Jeez. Well, you know, we'd have I'm glad. Two or three times a week coming home from school. God, that I'm serious. That reminds me of stuff my cousins say about living in Northern Ireland. Um, that's just frightening. So I'm glad we're not there anymore, Chris. And more to the point, I'm glad you got through it. Yeah, mate. Look, I've got a quick one before we go. Yes, please. Well, after all those nasty incidents that have been happening in um, North America. Yeah. Um, did, it was only quickly on the news about the woman that uh, armed only with a point two two, you know, twenty two caliber, very early yeah. caliber, um, saved herself from a bloody mad and grizzly. She okay. goes out walking, walking through the bush with her uh, with her husband, came around the bend, and here's the mother grizzly with the cubs, and of course you know what mother grizzlies are like. Yeah. Immediately charged them. Quick as a flash, he's pulled out a pistol, shot a husband in the kneecap and bolted. Find this was there was a big insurance payout. <laughs> <laughs> of course there was. Oh, you're a riffer. Thank you for that, Chris. Talk again, mate. See ya. I, I hope so. I've never heard that one before. Um... I can't remember who my politics teacher was in 1987... I remember doing politics in HSC, but uh, that must be where I remember this one from. 22nd of September 1951, a referendum was held in Australia which sought approval for the federal government to alter the constitution to give Parliament the power to make laws regarding communism and communists so that it could be empowered to instate a law similar to the Communist Party Dissolution Act of 1950. It was not carried. How's this for a margin? Uh, against, sorry, let's go with the losing side first. People who said it should be enacted, 49.44%. Yes, vote was 50.56. That's less than 1%. Crikey. Uh, and by the way, um, in, in answer to a question I asked earlier, I'm going to answer it for myself, if you don't mind. The Port Adelaide Football Club is older than the Collingwood Football Club. So as they would see it, they have a greater moral claim to the black and white stripes than does Collingwood. Right now, though, it's time for this. What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Open the lid and close the box. Nothing, ping, ping. What do you say? Let's open the box. 
For some reason, Tony, I play it, but you can't hear it. It's very oh, odd. Okay. Hmm. So we have played what's in the yeah, box. Yeah, we the did. Intro. I mean, unless you think I'm making it up. <sighs> Only one of us who exaggerates grossly on this program, and it's not you. So I'm going to take you at your word there. Well, that means uh, what's in the box is now open for business. There is a there is an item in the box. Bianca does not know what it is. Now, what is up for grabs is, uh, get this, not 300, not 400, but 600 Australia Overnight Gold Elite Points. They sit between Double Diamond Platinum Plus Points and membership of the High Performance Club. So um, uh, they are they are things you want. They are things you want, Gold Elite Points. And if you can guess what is in the box, they are yours. So the first clue this morning for what's in the box is transport. Transport. If you can guess what's in the box based on that clue, you will get gold elite, 600 gold elite points uh, to redeem on a number of things uh, in the the gift shop uh, here at Australia Overnight. Yes, Bianca, we have a gift shop. So uh, 13, 13, 32, if you want to have a go, first clue is transport. And we'll be doing this well until we find a winner. Tom is in Seaford. Hi, Tom. Oh, great, Tony. How are you going? How, how well, are thanks. you? Well, thanks. Good. I can shed some light on um, Port Adelaide and Collingwood, if that helps. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, from um, 1870 to 1878, their colours were blue and white, and they were known as the Ports. From 1879 to 1883, they were pink and white, and they were known as the Cockle Divers. From 1884 to 1902, Magneta and Blue were the colours, and they were known as the Magnetas. From 1903, they became black and white and were known as the Wharfies Magpies, but Collingwood was black and white in 1892. Thank you. And, there it is. And also, everybody's yep. in, forget there's one important factor. When the deal was done in 97, because they were 96, they were so eager to join the AFL, uh, which had started seven years earlier. Remember, the South Australia Club wanted to become join the uh, AFL, not yeah. the other way around. Yeah. Uh, contracts, my understanding, contracts were signed and, uh, and handshakes and whatever, and they gave a reassurance they wouldn't use black and white stripes and wouldn't use the magpie emblem. They have basically... Reneged on that. They basically have reneged on that. So... It, 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 I think if this doesn't stop, I think the temperature is going to go up and up on it. That's my. That's better be my guess, Tony. I'm being as objective as I can about it. No, I, no, I think you're right. As you've laid that out, then Collingwood would have a claim, and I remember that that deal being struck. I remember, well, at least I remember my brother telling me about that. Yeah. Um, that um, that they had. Well, the, they uh, promised to cease and desist. Now that you mention it, um, so uh, I think I think he, I think oh, but yeah I think look this is just personal opinion. Uh, I think there's a bit of a revving up of this to the faithful in South Australia, Port Adelaide, to uh, get it. What I find a bit disconcerting about this, I think they are. Koshi in particular is reigniting this issue, get the faceful behind him in the 150th year. And, uh, oh, OK. And, yeah, and, to be, and he really can't lose because uh, if he, in a way, is, if, as long as he's seen to try this, the faithful will love him. If he pulls it off and they allow him to have the prison bar jumpers just for a South Australian game, he wins. If the AF, AFL... Come the heavy on Collingwood, get uh, you know, and, and and say rule for whatever reason. This let's hope it doesn't go to court. But if they say, well, Collingwood has the greater claim to this uh, because of the contracts and what you promised and blah blah blah, um, then um, he'll be seen as well. At least he tried. So, uh, but but I do think I do think it's that they are really pushing the, the envelope on this, and that, that that's my own feeling on it. And because. 
they weren't black and white in 1870. But it, people, people, people got to realise they were so demented to get into the AFL. Yeah. They were prepared to say, no, 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 we, we won't make a claim on the magpie. Now, they've changed. They've put magpie on their scarf. They are now wanting... Oh, I didn't realise they'd gone that far. Yeah, okay. They've put, yeah. They've put, you know, they put it on the, and they said they wouldn't. So I think, you know, uh, I, I, just, I, I just think, you know, seriously that they, 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 they should dece um, desist Cease from it. Cease and desist, yeah. I think it's going to heat up. And the other thing, just briefly, um, uh, you know, this, this blow-up in the Victorian uh, overnight and the, the revelations uh, from... Uh, from 60 minutes I tell you, yeah just say allegedly oh my goodness yep. tony i tell you what this this stuff was going on 40 years ago but this is incredible absolutely incredible if if the people of victoria don't reassess this government as quickly as possible it's i've got to say I was, I, I was saying to bianca just before i've started watching it you know catching a bit during ad breaks and and during the news um i I have found it as watchable as the Michael Jordan documentary. It is, it, it is definitely one of the most watchable things 60 Minutes have done in a very long time. You cannot tear yourself away from it. That's all. Well, I'm not going to say anything else until yep. I've, I've, I've watched it. Same here. But, my God, it grabs you. It really does. And uh, and if uh, look if you're not alarmed by it, then uh, then I don't think you're paying attention. But uh, Tom, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. That is that is a great history lesson, and um, we haven't heard the last of it. I think, given the personalities involved, talking Eddie McGuire and and Koshy, um, it, it's going to be. There's a an impolite term for it, and it involves uh, the swinging of things. And uh, the rest of us are just going to be forced to watch it play out. All right. Thank you for that, Tom. We're going to take a break now. Back in a moment. 27 minutes to three. We're an hour away from the cereal. Will we, will we get an answer to what's in the box between now and then? Transport is the item. It's transport related. There's an item in the box. There are five, no, 600 Gold elite points up to uh, to go to the person who gets whatever is in the box. Back in a moment, it's 27 minutes to three. It's good to have a few freedoms back. Yeah, here's to brighter days ahead. Hmm, I'll drink to that. It's funny how when something's taken away, you suddenly notice how important it is. It's kind of made me change my priorities. Now we're over 50, I don't want us to keep working. I want us to be free to enjoy everything that's out there. I want those brighter days ahead to be the brightest we've ever had. Sounds great. Got any bright ideas on how we'll be able to afford it? Looking to get more out of life now our freedoms are returning? We'll show you a way you can afford to give up work, enjoy a brand new home and lifestyle, and have all the money you need left over to live life to the full. Of course, at Lifestyle Communities, we believe actions speak louder than words. So if and when you're ready, we'd be happy to take you on a tour that'll prove just how bright and carefree your life can be. Simply call 1300 50 55 60 or visit us at lifestylecommunities.com.au. Unfair dismissal and workplace mistreatment can hurt your income, health, career path and social standing. Employment lawyers McDonald Merhome provide the best legal advice you need, no matter how powerful your employer is. They understand better than anyone what you're going through and how the law can be made to work for you. So if you feel like you've been mistreated at work, take some advice. Call 9650-4555. McDonald Merhome, your essential lawyers. 9650-4555. The White Glove Mover. We invite you to experience our White Glove service so the next move you make will be stress-free. Whether you're needing a straightforward local removal or the full valley service of packing, unpacking and cleaning, the White Glove Mover has an exceptional reputation. Offices to apartments, interstate removals and pet transfers. Sport. They offer pensioner discounts too. Let the White Glove Mover do the hard work. Ring 13 94 48 or visit whitegloveMover.com.au. Wineselectors.com.au has Australian wine that's worth staying home for. 
Wine Selectors bring you Australian wine in all its diversity, from our finest growing regions, curated by our expert tasting panel, and delivered to your door. Select delicious Australian red, white or mixed wines by the case, or choose a plan for even more value-packed offers and varieties. Wineselectors.com.au, from the cellar door to your door. Shipping Australia-wide. Winter catalogue out now. It's time to buy your new Mercedes-Benz. Three Point Motors presents unprecedented savings this end of financial year with five years complimentary scheduled servicing and five years warranty. Visit mb3point.com.au. Three Point Motors, Fairfield, Q and Epping. TNC Supply, Licence 433. Hi, I'm David Beck. Hi, I'm Alan Beck. And together, together we're, we're Beck Bedding. Give us a call and we'll handcraft a bed to fit your needs. We'll deliver it to your door and take away your old bed too. Beck's Bedding, custom bedding delivered to you. Visit becksbedding.com.au. You're listening to Australia Overnight on 3AW693. We're in the grip of what's in the box. 131332, if you think you know. Hello, James, in Mooney Ponds. Hi, Tony. Uh, before I have a go at what's in the box, I just thought I'd um, go back to an old list of yours uh, on um, fast food locations around the world. Oh, yes. Uh, can you give us an example? Well, for example, uh, Hungary Jacks. <laughs> uh, Big yes. Macedonia. Oh, very good, yes. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, fried chicken Slovakia. <laughs> what? How about uh, the United States of America? Oh, that's outstanding. And uh, for dessert, yeah. uh, how about the Whit Sunday Island? Or Yugoslavia. Oh, that, that is uh, uh, very lactose intolerant, that country. It is, isn't it? And, uh, and I won't stand for it. <laughs> now, that is uh, outstanding, James. Now, travel, travel related, what's in the box? Travel is the clue. Yes, it is. Uh, let me have a go at uh, my key card. No, it is not a my key card. Okay. But uh, great start. Thank you for that, James. Thanks, Tony. All right. It is not a Mikey card. Um, all right. Uh, we have Joe in East Keelor. G'day, Tony. How, you, how are you? Yeah, well, thanks. Um, first, I'd like to fix up the Collingwood and uh, Port Adelaide thing. Yeah. Well, you get every supporter from both clubs to send in a photo. Yes. And collectively, who's got the least teeth gets to keep the jumper. <laughs> A dental raffle. I yes. like that. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think they've got bragging rights over it then. Oh, uh, yeah. Having been to... I know Port Adelaide. Um, I've got a nephew who barracks for them, and he's never set foot in... No, he has set foot in South Australia, but he's never lived there. But for reasons I cannot fathom, uh, and his dad, who's my brother, is a fanatical Carlton supporter. Anyway. Yep. Uh, what's in the box, maybe? Yes. Give it a shot. Uh, yep. Transport, you said, was it? Yes. C-130 uh, aeroplane. A model. Oh, no, okay, model. right, because I did mention that earlier, the 172nd Italy C-138. Mm. It's definitely not one of those. <laughs> Fair enough. No, it's still unmade. It's in the box. It's okay. still in its box. And I'm looking forward to making it, because there'll be a lot of detailing you need to do in the interior. So anyway, that's a conversation for another time, but thank you, Joe. Yep. All right, all right. It is not a C-130 Hercules. Chris is in Broadie. Hi, Chris. Hello, Tony. Just so before I answer what's in the box, um, is the Fairfield RSL still there? No. 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 It, uh, it's now a housing development that was built by Grollo. And... Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to remember where the RSL stuff... In, it's in a... I think some of it went to the local primary school and now for Anzac Day, there's a, there's a memorial, a can um, on the corner of Station and Heidelberg. Yeah, I think Preston, Northgate and Fairfield RSL become Derivan RSL at one spot. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, the amalgamations of Derriban happened in 1994 when all the councils amalgamated, yeah. 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 Um, uh, just watch the boss. Is it a guard's whistle? 
A guard's whistle? That's a really good guess, but no, no, it's not. Oh, thanks, Tony. And hello no to worries. Nikki, who used to be the super, uh, the manager at the Fairfield RSL. wonder what she's doing these days. Oh, it was a good RSL from memory. I went there a now, few right times. Right near Fido. Right next to Fido. Yes, uh, not far from Fairfield Industrial Design Object, the big wooden dog. Yeah, thanks, that, mate. Uh, guards the suburb. Thank you for that, Chris. Uh, hello, Simon and Colac. Good morning, Tony. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Um... I'm led to believe you played my song the other day. Yes, we did. And uh, Bianca, am I right in saying, as we played it, it we, we could have bet money on the fact that Simon wasn't awake to hear it? No, I wasn't. You're absolutely right, Tony. You did say that. I remember it vividly. <laughs> Thank you, Bianca. I knew you'd back yeah, me up really on that. Sounded like, it really sounded like Bianca, I think. I think it did. Thank you, Simon. <laughs> so, so, yes. Yes, it was played and it was dedicated to you. Thank you. Oh, so well, we've, um, we've closed the loop on that. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll tell you oh, what. Well, you, you couldn't good. possibly have functioning ears and not love the following song. Yeah. So... Uh, <clears throat> So please enjoy this one, Simon. In the meantime, we are talking about songs with great harmonica playing in them. And uh, here is just uh, absolutely... Anyway, look, you might love it. You might even hate it. Who knows? But either way, you're about to hear Neil Young singing about a heart of gold. Old shaky Neil Young and a fan of model railways. He, he would have been a big fan of... Uh, Planes, trains, no automobiles, starting at 5.30am and finishing at midday, every day, on this radio station. Anyway. 13.13.32, we are doing what's in the box. What is in the box? There is an item in there. Uh, it's related to transport. It is not, I can tell you this, it is not a guard's whistle or a my key ticket or... A scale model of a C one hundred and thirty Hercules. I will give Are you, you just another trying to clue. be cheeky there. No, no, no. That was a clue. That was a clue that was uh, ventured, that was uh, tabled, that was suggested. Mm. It was a guess. I'm on to you. No, seriously, it was mm -hmm. because I had mentioned it earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scale model of a C one hundred and thirty. Australia has operated four versions of the Hercules. We were the first export customer of it, and it's the world's greatest post-war tactical transport ever, ever. It's a magnificent aeroplane. Um, 13 13 32 693. If you'd like to call and have a guess, it is 14 minutes to three. Neil Mitchell. The Prime Minister's just phoned in. Good morning, how are you? The decision makers. If we hadn't had those protests, would you now be looking at easing things a bit quicker? No doubt. The fired up debate. I had every reason and every right to... You have not got a right to put everybody else at risk. The breaking news. Hello, NST. I've got a red hot tip for you, NVP, Neil. I've got a... And uh, your calls. Just dropped <laughs> off my 10 year old and I'm super excited. You're excited or the child's excited? Oh, I couldn't care less about it. Oh, come on, Aaron. All on 3AW693. For top quality motoring at great value pricing, check out Havel SUVs and Great Wall Utes at your new home in Melbourne, Astoria in Bentley East. It's A-plus for Astoria, and we're getting on with business. Plus, don't miss your big tax savings available. Get $2,000 minimum trade-in till June 30th. Plus, get your Havel or Great Wall serviced with 20% discount on scheduled services. Your home for Havel and Great Wall in Melbourne, Astoria, North Road, Bentley East, LMCT 10901. This Sunday, eight United Victorian charities have joined forces to compete towards rocking around the world to raise awareness, funds and 50 million steps to virtually lap our world. Everyone can join in. You can step, walk or run. You can dance, wriggle or move or roll in a wheelchair, cycle or skate. It's not too late to join or donate. Visit rockaroundtheworld.org.au and join us for our live stream this Sunday. 
That's rockaroundtheworld.org.au. At Royal Freemasons, we understand that choosing aged care for your loved one is one of the biggest decisions you'll make. That's why during these unprecedented times, we've implemented long-term safety measures to ensure we continue to provide your loved ones with the very best care and support in a secure and safe environment. Find out how you can book a tour by visiting royalfreemasons.org.au or call 1300 176 925. Royal Freemasons, caring for older Victorians since 1867. Whether you have a business in the back shed or plans to take on the world, you can always learn a lot by listening to others. Listen to friends and family in business. Listen to customers and other business owners. And listen to Let's Talk Business with Scott Haywood. Every Tuesday night, tune in to Money News at 7.30 when Brooke Cordy is joined by Scott Haywood to talk about the best ways to start, grow and manage your business. Let's Talk Business. Thanks to Officeworks, helping you make bigger things happen. Tuesday night at 7.30 on 3AW. When muscular pain gets in the way of your day, you need fast relief. Deep Heat has been helping support Australians for over 60 years with a range of pain relief solutions Aussies trust. Try the Deep Heat back patches that activate in just 60 seconds and get back in the game. Follow directions for use. A spotlight or window is what you make it with 30 to 40% off the entire range of made-to-measure curtains, blinds and shutters. Call 1300 for your free in-home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. You're listening to Australia Overnight on 3AW693. It's 10 minutes to 3... 13, 13, 32, and 9, 6, 900, 6, 9, 3. Uh, good morning, Richard, in Shepparton. Cheltenham. In where, sorry, Ch- Richard? Cheltenham, t- Cheltenham, Tony. Cheltenham. Cheltenham, sorry, Cheltenham. It's quite okay. Now, Go uh, ahead, Richard. I'd just like to say, um, I did think um, Matt, Matt, the songs you played by Matt Taylor were fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic, Great. Tony. And also, you, you, you did play a part of the song by by Neil Young called uh, Heart of Gold yeah. um, and also just incidentally a little bit in- interesting I suppose I, I saw that the movie starring Neil Young in a, in a theatre uh, called Rush Never Sleeps yeah that was a concert movie wasn't it was it oh, yeah it um, was in a, a theatre in Burke Street in the city just down from the the uh, Windsor Hotel Okay, I bought the VHS from America about 20 years ago and I came across it the other day and I thought, mm, wow, that's exciting. Lovely, yeah. And also, um, last Friday, I had to go to um, the uh, Holmes Glen TAFE in South yeah. Road, M- Mrabin, to have a, 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 lung, a lung function test and hopefully um, it's going to prove pretty good. <laughs> So, uh, why do you have to go to Why do you have to go to Holmes Glen TAFE to get your lungs looked at? Well, um, that was the closest centre my, my GP could send me to. See, Tony. So, what you had an apprentice welder look after your lungs? Did you? They're going th- well, to. Well, seems like an yeah, odd place to a, go for a medical function. Yeah, medical function. Yeah. For a, a medical reason. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. All right. Well, and. Well, so, anyway, what's the prognosis? Are you are you okay? Well, hopefully I am. Yeah, I, I haven't received the, the results yet. Well, actually, the result from the lung function test, Tony, is going to be pushed through to my GP at the Justin Medical Centre, Doctor Grinnick. All right. Well, good luck with that. Let us know how you get on, please, Richard. All right. Let's go to Brendan in Melbourne. Hi, Brendan. Hey, Tony. How are you? Yeah. Well, thanks. It was a great game yesterday for three quarters, wasn't it? I, well, two and a half, if you're being... Oh, it's frustrating. Yeah, I know. Really? Uh, listen, can I, can I mention these uh, protesters one last time? Now, which ones are you talking about? The ones over the weekend? Were they protesting uh, uh, yeah. illegal asylum seekers or illegal immigrants? or The, anti, the so-called anti-racism protesters, you know? Uh, did they cra- did they clash with the pro pro racism? Because so many people are pro racism after all. But anyway, go ahead, Brendan. Yeah, well, um, I, I I study you know I study history. History is one of my favourite topics. And what they carried on, um, they carried on like um, like they want a fascist dictatorship because what what a dictator would do is come in and change history. 
That's the first thing they do. Yeah, and they're acting like they want to. They might, Moses of Rwanda, they want a dictatorship, you know, somebody who can come and change their, their history, you know? Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, who, uh, what is it? Who wins the battle writes the history, and they're all about winning, and they're all about acquiring power, and um, bringing us to year zero. It's the sort of thing uh, Pol Pot would have done. It's the sort of thing lots of tyrants have done before. And what about, what about Winston Churchill? He's the only European leader who stood up against the Nazis, you know? And they, they, go, they go and pull him down. Uh, they down. couldn't pull him down, so instead they spray-painted Winston Churchill as a racist. There was no evidence. No evidence was needed. These are apparent people who are obsessed with fascism, but of course uh, couldn't define it and um, had to deface a monument to a man who actually helped defeat it. In fact, as you say, you're right. He was on to he was onto the menace of fascism before anybody in the British Parliament and was articulate about it and understood. He understood its nature. He perceived it far more intelligently than anybody else did. Yeah. Brendan, thank you for that. No worries, thank you. Are, are you going away next week? No. No, no. not going anywhere. No, no worries. All right, thanks, Brendan. Thanks. Um, Bianca has just put this up. Holmes Glen TAFE in Moorabbin has a private hospital within its grounds called Holmes Glen Private Hospital. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that's funny. I just love the idea of a, uh, I don't know, an, an apprentice surgeon. Um, there you go. All right, back in a moment. Uh, it is five minutes to three. Thank you, Melbourne, for continuing to trust A1 Blinds during these challenging times. A1 Blinds' reputation as Melbourne's most trusted supplier of blinds, shutters and awnings continues, as well as A1's famous lifetime warranty, competitive pricing and tailored payment plans. Buy now with zero deposit. That's right, pay nothing until your blinds are installed. Call 95441122 now for a free measuring quote. A1 Blinds. We put people before profits. When celebrating a loved one's life, you want to deal with someone who's compassionate, open and honest. Here's James McLeod, Managing Director of Tobin Brothers Funerals. As we've said on numerous occasions, we pride ourselves on being very transparent. We've cared for 265,000 client families over the last 85 years. We're proud of the trust that Victorians have placed in us. Visit TobinBrothers.com.au. Tobin Brothers Funerals. Celebrating lives. Do you want to take the hassle out of payroll? With Reckon, you can pay employees quicker than this ad. Process the amount on your phone, mark it for approval, and done. Plus, Reckon makes JobKeeper payments a breeze. Do it all in just a few taps. Designed with small business in mind, the Reckon Payroll app is a simple way to manage pay runs, single-touch payroll reports, and JobKeeper payments, all from your mobile. For payroll that's made easy, visit Reckon today at Reckon.com. Retirement should be about enjoying life, not stressing about bills and unexpected expenses. With a Heartland Reverse Mortgage, you could convert part of the equity in your home into cash. You can then use the funds on home improvements, paying off your loans or everyday bills without having to sell or downsize. If you're over 60, discover how you can enjoy a more comfortable retirement at heartlandreversemortgage.com.au. Lending criteria, TNCs and fees apply. Credit provided by ASF Custodians, Proprietary Limited. Australian Credit Licence 386781. When you come up against an employer who intends to dismiss you, it's hard to know who to run to. The employment lawyers at McDonald Murhome have defended the rights of employees for over 20 years. So if you've been unfairly dismissed, subjected to unfair management practices, or simply want to ensure that you receive the best possible compensation from your redundancy, talk to us. Know your rights and get advice from McDonald Murhome. Call 96504555. McDonald Murhome, your essential lawyers. As part of Victoria's big build, we're upgrading major roads. The Princess Freeway will be closed at Duncan's Road, Werribee, from 9pm on the 20th of June to 5am on the 22nd of June. Find out if you're affected at bigbuild.vic.gov.au. Authorised by Victorian Government, Melbourne. At ENS, our massive end of financial year sale is on now, with up to 30% off. Like Bosch 10 kilogram front loader, just $9.79. Bosch self cleaning oven with steam, just $24.95. And Villaroy and Bock toilets from just $6.99. Our consultants are kitchen, bathroom, and laundry experts. And we won't be beaten on price. So visit one of our nine showrooms today or shop online and get the ENS feeling for less. Please and please apply. Sell on now.
You're listening to Australia Overnight on 3AW693. Good morning, Denny in North Fitzroy. Good morning, Tony. Long time, no see. I um, know, it's, it seems like it's been forever. <laughs> What's in the box? A Lego toy truck. That is to do with transport. Yes. But that is not what is in the box. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Denny. But I will give another clue out uh, after three. And uh, remember, we're talking gold elite points here for Australia Overnight. Um, I'll tell you what it is not. It's not a Mikey card. It is not a C-130 Hercules um, the exact model was not specified whether or not that was an A, an E, uh, an H or a J. They're all the versions we have operated in Australia. There's probably about 30 different versions all up, though. Uh, it's not a guard's whistle and it's not a Lego toy truck. More guesses. You're not allowed to guess me. You're in the high performance club, you could. The latest news. When you're ready to sell your home, call Ian Reid Vendor Advocates first. Independent expert advice at no additional cost. Melbourne's 3AW693. Good morning, I'm Ben Kimber. The Victorian opposition has called for anti-corruption watchdog IBAC and Victoria Police to investigate damning corruption claims levelled against ministers within the Andrews Labor government. Small Business Minister Adam Somirak is at the centre of allegations of large-scale branch stacking. Secret recordings obtained by 60 Minutes and The Age newspaper during a joint year-long investigation appear to show Mr Somirak involved in secret cash drop-off ordering others to forge signatures and make false statements. Consumer Affairs Minister Marlene Carews and Assistant Treasurer Robin Scott have also been implicated in the scandal. Shadow Attorney General Edward O'Donoghue says it shows the Andrews Labor government is corrupt to the core. Daniel Andrews must take action. It's critical that the Labor ministers implicated are stood down pending a full investigation by the Anti-Corruption Commission. The Melbourne City Council has brought forward the installation of 40 kilometres of new protected bike lanes for commuters looking to avoid public transport in the wake of the coronavirus. Exhibition, Rathdown and Abbotsford streets are among the areas to benefit first, with Council saying there will be minimal impact on parking in the CBD. The Bicycle Network has welcomed the move, saying it will help people maintain physical distancing as they gradually return to work. Police have appealed for a driver who may have witnessed a collision in the Melbourne suburb of Richmond to come forward. A man in his 50s was struck by a reversing black VW wagon on Bridge Road on Friday morning, causing him to fall onto the road and hit his head. He has since died in hospital. The driver stopped at the scene and has spoken to police, but investigators want to speak with the driver of a grey SUV wagon in the area at the time. Two people have been questioned after their dramatic arrest in Melbourne yesterday. Jordan Tunbridge reports. Police were called to a road rage incident at Laverton where an imitation firearm was allegedly produced. Specialist officers later intercepted a couple of suspects in a vehicle at Malvern. They arrested the man and woman. No one was injured during the incidents. In Melbourne, Jordan Tunbridge, Nine News. The Prime Minister will today outline 15 major projects to be given fast-tracked approvals. The federal focus on infrastructure works will be used to assist states and territories to boost job numbers in the wake of the coronavirus downturn. Works on inland rail from Melbourne to Brisbane and a second underwater power cable to Tasmania are among the included projects. Men are being told to learn the symptoms of prostate cancer to ensure early detection of the disease. About 60 men die of prostate cancer every week in Australia. Medical oncologist Dr David Pook says it can be detected using a screening blood test which can be ordered by a doctor. You could present with problems passing urine. In advanced disease you can present with back pain, weight loss and other issues but we would prefer to 
catch the cancer before that stage. Local grocers, pharmacies and people in the hospitality industry among those nominated for a new award. The Shinies, which this year replaced the annual Shonky Awards, are recognising businesses which are continuing to support their communities even during the health crisis. Choice Managing Editor Marg Rafferty says there's been an overwhelming response. We ended up with more than 700 nominations in a little over a month. It was a, a really big response and just showed how strongly Australians care for the businesses that support them. 3AW Sports. Listen on air, online and mobile. The Western Bulldogs have been left languishing on the bottom of the AFL ladder after a shock 39-point loss to St Kilda. The Saints dominated the Dogs at Marvel Stadium. St Kilda coach Brett Ratton says after a sluggish start, they regrouped. Pretty solid through, you know, four quarters. Probably the first quarter, their pressure was sensational early and we're probably lucky not to be, you know, two, three goals down, uh, maybe even four. But, um, yeah, they were right on early and um, we were lucky we capitalised. In other results to complete round two, North Melbourne upset Greater Western Sydney by 20 points and Essendon held off a fast-finishing Sydney to the tune of six. And Jerry McGovern has been offered a one-match ban by the AFL's match review officer. The West Coast defender is charged with striking Gold Coast Alex Secton. That's the latest news and sport. 3AW Weather. Partly cloudy, a possible shower today, a top of 18. Showers increasing tomorrow, 17. Partly cloudy Wednesday, 14. Mostly sunny Thursday, up to 17 degrees. On the bays, northwesterly winds are 15 to 20 knots, waves to 1.5 metres. It's currently 13 at Viewbank, 13 in the city. Ben Kimber, Melbourne Zone 3AW. This is Australia Overnight with Tony Moclair. Five minutes past three. What is in the box is well underway. We're about 25 minutes away from uh, the serial. We have a dedication in tonight's or for tonight's episode. That'll be exciting. Uh, and unprecedented to use the word that you might not have heard enough in 2020 hello terry in newport good morning tony how are you yeah i'm well thanks yeah um with what's in the box is it a passport passport is to do with transport i like the way you're thinking but no it's not a passport okay then i'll go and my song for your um harmonica Elton yeah. John, I guess that's what they call it, the blues. Is there a harmonica in that? Oh, towards the latter end of the song, it kicks in and sort of finishes it off. It's very nice. Oh, okay. Rolling like thunder. That's right. Under the <laughs> covers. Yeah. And I guess that's what, that's they, what they call it, the, it blues. the blues. <laughs> Beautifully done. Hey, we should harmonise more often, Terry. Oh, we'll, we'll said no one know. ever. We don't want to start any of that now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that'll be another show that I'll try to get on 3AW. <laughs> <laughs> good on you. Thank you, Terry. Thanks. Have a good one. Uh, <clears throat> Tone and Terry's harmonisation. Yeah. Mm, uh, mm. Joan in Endeavour Hills. Hi, Joan. Hi. How are you? Good half game for your mom. Oh. Talk about being damned with faint praise. <laughs> Says somebody whose team won over the weekend. Yes. yes. Yeah. They played well. Mm. They went to sleep a little bit. We should have won by a bit more. But never mind, we won. A win's a win. Exactly. Thank you. That's what Melbourne was saying at the end of their game. Well, yeah, that was a bit of a shocker too, wasn't it? You know. Uh, yeah. Well, it depends right. what you define as shocker. Well, you know, they sort of, Carlton sort of, you know, let them have it in a way in the first half, didn't You're they? right, they did. They did. Yeah. They were playing terribly. Yeah, and you got a bad injury, didn't you, on one of your yes. players? Yes, yeah, Nick Newman. Yeah. He's gone for the year. Yeah, that's no good. I'm very no. sorry he won't be able to play against a good team in two weeks. <laughs> Whoever they might be. <laughs> yes, you know who mm. they are. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Now, in the box. Yes, what is it? Would it be a diary? A, you know, t- 
to write your your travel and travel diary. The, I I like how you've thought about that, but no, that's not what it is, Joan. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you a, a second clue now. Mm, okay. Um, it's oh, how do you, you put it? It's a domestic form of travel. Don't have a guess now, Joan. No, all right. But when I say it's a domestic form from Australia, you can't. Travel internationally on this form of transport, and it's to do with that. Okay, all right. I so shall ring I, back. <laughs> I trust that you will. Thank you, Joan. Yeah. Okay, thank you, dear. Bye. Th thank you, um, Terry. I thought I thought our version of I guess that's why they call it the blues was pretty much the best you'll ever hear, but other people disagree. One of them, or two of them being Bernie Taupin and Elton John. Let's hear how they did their version.
right, he would have been a Saint supporter, but no, and what do you know, Elton? Carlton, that's why they call it the Blues. I guess that's why they call it the Blues. Um, that had a bit of harmonica in it. We are talking great harmonica songs this morning. 13, 13, 32. If you think you know what's in the box, I'll tell you what it is not in the box. Uh, it's not a Mikey card. It's not a C-130 Hercules. Guards, whistle, Lego, toy truck. Transport, what's the clue? Uh, diary. It's, um, uh, they are the things it is not. So the two clues are transport and it's a domestic form of transport. I'll give another clue out in the next five or so minutes. 13, 13, 32, if you'd like to have a go at what is in there. There is an item in there. It's not a light item either, let me tell you. Back in a moment with your guesses. It's 14 minutes past three. Money News with Brooke Corti. I think you'll see a lot of talk about Tesla because Tesla has briefly passed Toyota already to become the world's most valuable car maker. Weeknights from seven. Just pause and think about that for a second. Tesla to be more valuable than Toyota. Globally, Toyota sold about 11 million vehicles in 2019. Do you know how many Tesla sold? 370,000. And yet Tesla looks like it'll be more valuable. It's certainly a milestone to see Tesla as the world's most valuable car maker. As Spotlight or Windows, what you make it with 30 to 40% off the entire range of made to measure curtain blinds and shutters. Call 1300 662 for your free in home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it, and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. Holidays, holidays, holidays. Right now, Avan Supercenter has a huge range of new and used campers, caravans and motorhomes in stock. So you can get away on your holiday ahead of the pack. This month, they're doing super deals across the entire new range. So make sure you order today to have it ready to go before Christmas. Don't miss out. Go in and have a look or go online. Avan Supercenter, two huge locations, Packenham and Campbellfield or avansupercenter.com.au. Sean Cosgrove here to tell you David Mark Appliances has great reverse cycle air conditioning deals on now. When you purchase an eligible Fujitsu split system, you can claim a prepaid cash card bonus of up to $250. And with eligible Mitsubishi electric models, you can claim up to $200. See my mate Barky and his team to keep your home warm this winter. They'll even arrange professional installation for you too. David Mark Appliances, the Peninsula's air conditioning specialist at the Big Blue Building, 1263 Point Nepean Road, Rosebud. Tell him cause he sent you. My name is Lisa O'Brien, CEO of the Smith family. The COVID-19 outbreak is a huge challenge for all of us, especially the most vulnerable. In Australia today, one in six children are living in poverty. This crisis will hit them hard. Not all children can afford textbooks, stationery, a computer and internet access so critical for ongoing learning. With your help, we'll make the world of difference. Donate now. Search The Smith Family. Unexpected expenses, everyday bills, home improvements, car expenses, it all adds up. So it's a great relief knowing that with a Heartland Reverse Mortgage, you could release the equity in your home to free up cash for a multitude of purposes without having to sell or downsize. If you're over 60, discover how you could enjoy a more comfortable retirement at heartlandreversemortgage.com.au. Lending criteria, TNC and fees apply. Credit provided by ASF Custodians, Proprietor Limited, Australian Credit Licence 386781. At Spotlight or Windows, what you make it with 30 to 40% off the entire range of made to measure curtain blinds and shutters. Call 1300 662 for your free in home measuring quote. So warm it, shade it, and keep it cool for less. Conditions apply. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. You're listening to Australia Overnight on 3AW 693. 32969600693, 17 minutes past, uh, no, 18 minutes past three. In a moment, we're going to hear some classic British comedy as an anniversary artist, but we are doing what's in the box. And uh, maybe Norma from Cooey Rup is going to uh, crack open the box to find out what's in it. Hi, Norma. Hello. Hi. Could it be a Melways? Oh, Melways is a good, that is a good guess, but no, it's not a Melways. Okay, thank you. But, but that is right, that is following the clues. It is a domestic form of travel uh, and it is heavy. 
So, but it's not a mail waste. Thank you, Norma. Hi, Eunice in Melbourne. Hi, uh, is it uh, uh, electronic or just, uh, can I ask if it's electronic or... You can ask. I'm happy to answer that. No, it's not electronic. It predates electricity by, ooh, yeah. Well, it's it's not, no, 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 it, no, it's definitely pre the electronic age. Uh, it's not GPS. Sorry, I was. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's not a GPS. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Good guess, though. Thank you, Eunice. Hello, thank Jeff you. in Reservoir. I'll have a go, but I can never get these things. Um. I was thinking maybe a, 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 your car key. Oh, car key is, a, yes. It, it's not it, I know. No, well, you Wasted a phone call, Tony. You wasted a weekend, you poor thing. Yeah, well, would you certainly say that again, Jeez, Tony? It was very, what very happened? disappointing. Very what disappointing. What happened? Well, I just didn't turn up. I hope it's a... What's the a one-off? In word now, aberration. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the on-ballers were terrible, Tony. Um, Clarkson said they weren't just second-rate. He said they were more like third or fourth-rate. He doesn't hold back, does he? Oh, no. No, I'd like to be, I'd like to be there behind closed doors, particularly coming up next week against Richmond. Yeah. You'll know in the next. You'll know in the first ten minutes of the game next week, or even the first five minutes of uh, whether they're switched on. Yeah, exactly. And what sort of week they've had on the track? Yeah, such a turnaround from the first match. Jeez, I couldn't believe it when I saw the margin. It was sixty-one points, wasn't it? Oh yes, it was something like ten goals on it. Yeah. Yes, I, I used to do like it was. I think they kicked something like ten goals to one in the in the second half. It was, uh, and I said to myself, I felt like throwing the remote. I don't normally get to fired up, but I thought I'd just wait bloody nine months to see this rubbish. Now, do you do you have uh, <laughs> a, a faith in your team's ability to claw back that kind of deficit? A, a Hawthorne known for that. Well, they're, they're known for not letting themselves get that far in arrears, are they? Not normally, no. So that's the only positive that I've got. It's, 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 an, it's an aberration, I'm sure, Tony. It's just one of yeah. those things. They, you know, the, the uh, virus, you know, the let-up that they've had, the 10 weeks or whatever we've had to put them behind. Yeah. They'll, 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 you know, it's not Hawthorne. They'll, they'll kick on. All right, yes, if... Uh... Because I tell you, there'll be some stern words at uh, Glen Ferry Road this week. Thank you for that, Jeff. All the best, Tony. Good on you. Um, car key, it is not. Uh, might be made from the same thing, though. Hello, Greg in Lilydale. Good evening. How are you? I'm well, thanks, Greg. Would it be a horseshoe? A horseshoe? That is such a clever guess. But it's not. You are talking. It would be a contemporary of a horseshoe. Okay. These things are still used. You will still see them used. Um, but they would have been around in the time of the horseshoe. Um, the both, they would have existed side by side and quite possibly being... And I won't say anything more than that. But that's a very good guess, Greg. Thanks anyway. Keep listening. Will do. Bye bye. All right. Good on you. Um, now, on this day, you may not know this, Blackadder, starring Rowan Atkinson, debuted on British television. Uh, a great show, and we're about to hear this particular episode, or a bit of it. I've always loved uh, Rowan Atkinson's acting in this, and uh, Robbie Coltrane as well. He's a magnificent actor, I think. Anyway, in this episode, Samuel Johnson. Uh, played by Robbie Coltrane, meets Prince George's, uh, seeks Prince George's patronage. Um, uh, Prince George, played by, uh, what's his name, the bloke from House. 
uh, for his new book, A Dictionary of the English Language. The prince, seeking to amend his reputation as, quote, an utter turn of head, is interested, but Blackadder tries to turn him against the idea, condemning the dictionary as the most pointless book since How to Learn French was translated into French. It soon emerges that Blackadder resents Johnson for apparently ignoring his novel Edmund A Butler's Tale, which, under the pseudonym of Gertrude Perkins, he had secretly sent to Johnson in the hope that he would get it published. published. So Blackadder's got a bit of an axe to grind here, and you will see how he does so. It goes for about four minutes. Please enjoy. Oh! Dr Johnson, Your Highness. Ah, Dr Johnson! Damn cold day! Indeed it is, sir, but a very fine one. For I celebrated last night the encyclopedic implementation of my premeditated orchestration of demotic Anglo Saxon. <laughs> nope, didn't catch any of that. <laughs> well, I simply observed, sir, that I'm felicitous. Since during the course of the penultimate solar sojourn, I terminated my uninterrupted categorization of the vocabulary of our post Norman tongue. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds damn saucy, you lucky thing. I know some fairly liberal-minded girls, but I've never penultimated any of them in that solo sojourn. If I have been given any Norman tongue. I believe, sir, that the doctor is trying to tell you that he is happy because he has finished his book. It has apparently taken him ten years. Yes, well, I'm a slow reader myself. <laughs> Sir, the very cornerstone of English scholarship. This book, sir, contains every word in our beloved language. Ooh. Every single one, sir? Every single word, sir. Oh, well, in that case, sir, I hope you will not object if I also offer the doctor my most enthusiastic contrafibularities. <laughs> contrafibularities, sir? It is a common word down our way. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm anaspeptic, phrasmotic, <laughs> even compunctuous to have caused you such pericombobulation. <laughs> what are you all about, Blackadder? This is all beginning to sound a bit like Dago talk to me. I'm sorry, sir. I merely wished to congratulate the doctor on not having left out a single word. Shall I fetch the tea, Your Highness? Yes, yes. And, and get that damn fire up here, will you? Certainly, sir. I shall return... Interfrastically. <laughs> so, Dr. Johnson, sit you down. Now, this book of yours, tell me, what's it all about? It is a book about the English language, sir. I see. And the hero's name is what? There is no hero, sir. No hero? Well, lucky I reminded you. Better put one in, Bronto. Um, call him George. George is a good name for a hero. Um, now, what about heroines? There is no heroine, sir, unless it is our mother tongue. Uh, the mother's the heroine. Nice twist. <laughs> so, how far have we got then? Old mother tongue is in love with George, the hero. Now, what about murders? Mother tongue doesn't get murdered, does she? No, she doesn't. No one gets murdered or married or in a tricky situation over a pound note. Well, now, look, Dr. Johnson... I may be as thick as a whale omelette, but even I know a book's got to have a plot. Not this one, sir. It is a book that tells you what English words mean. I know what English words mean. I speak English. You must be a bit of a thicko. Perhaps you would rather not be patron of my book, if you can see no value in it whatsoever, sir. Well, perhaps so, sir. As it sounds to me as if my being patron of this complete cowpat of a book will set the seal once and for all on my reputation as an utter turnip head. <laughs> it is a reputation well deserved, sir. Farewell. Leaving already, Doctor? <laughs> not staying for your appendagestatory interlude. <laughs> Anything I can do to facilitate your velocitous extramuralization. You will regret this, Dublin, sir. Huh. Not only have you impeculiated uh, my dictionary, but you have also lost the chance to act as patron to the only book in the world that is even better. Oh, and what is that, sir? Dictionary 2? <laughs> the return of the killer dictionary. Th that is Blackadder there. Uh, magnificent work started on this day in uh, what year did I say 1983 uh, Annette is in Kui Rapai Annette Hi Tony welcome back 
Thank you. What's in the box? Would it be horse and cart? It's not a horse and cart. No, it is a domestic form of transport. You're right. It is an old form of transport, and it's to do with that. But thank you, Annette. That's not what it is, though. Hello, Linda, who's in Ascot Vale. Hi, Tony. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Um, is it a crank? No, it's not a crank. Oh, I thought I had it. <laughs> no, that is... Uh, it's a good guess. No, back in the old days when you'd have to... That's how you'd have to start a car. Thank God we don't have to do that anymore. Thank you, Linda. Hello, Daryl in Mount Martha. Hey, yeah, how are you, Tony? I'll be very well, thanks. Mate. I reckon it could be a car jack. Not a car jack, no. I've got a, a song for... Um, with the harmonica? harmonica? Super Tramp, Long Way Home. Oh, yes, yes. That's definitely got a harmonica in it.